What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We're here with Geralt. We were in the village of Larvik. We need to find Yennefer about the favor that she asked, the last wish. So let's go ahead and read up on this. Meet Yennefer in Larvik. Before Geralt and Yennefer parted after their adventure in Freya's garden, the sorceress asked him to meet her in Larvik. She made it clear this was a personal matter, but gave no further details. All right, well, she asked for a favor and let us... Go ahead and get underway to see about doing that for Yen. She just in the end, I you know, I wonder. Beware the bandits that lurk in the highlands. That's true. Heard the same. What did she do? She muddled his head, muddled his mind. Well, I was just about to say that outside. I wonder if she is going to be just sitting or causing a ruckus. Definitely causing a ruckus. Not on her accord, though. Greetings, impressive tavern. Tavern? This ain't no tavern. It is the House of Warriors. Mm -hmm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one will take the other and give them a good slap in, eh? But mostly, folk come here to drink, eat, warm their bones by the fire, chatter a bit. Maybe listen to a skull bay to the moon. About what folk do at a tavern. <sighs> ah, ye continentals don't understand a thing. You need some of our mead. Brood wisdom at us. <laughs> Brood wisdom? Let me see. What are you peddling? Let me have a look. Nothing? No Gwen cards? What the fuck? All right, so let me think here. Farewell. Let's see, I was half expecting there to be some kind of Gwent here. Let's look at the inventory. Let's look at this. Because we have five more. We got to win one from Shusta. That will be four more. And usually, innkeepers seem to have three to four cards on them. Maybe. We literally have... I don't even know. We've done explored all the islands, but two. We have this island, Unvik, and then we have this one over here, which is where Uderik is, Speaker Rog, Orlag. So maybe there's an inn over here. But it's gonna have to be one of them too. But one other thing before we go into Yennefer, or talk to Yennefer. I did knock out all these question marks here. None of them, not even the ones on land here, were even quests. Not one single one had a note or nothing. Not even a key with a note. Nothing. It just... Nothing but treasures. And we have 37,000 rounds. Oh my word. Well, you're getting there. I want to say we probably have two more areas then. Because while well, we're with the map open, kind of. We're going to have this area. This area has a notice board and it's going to bring more stuff around here. Has to. Then we also have this area here, but this one doesn't look like it has a notice board anywhere. It would be on the map if it was. So possibly this might be the only chance to get the cards, but also this might be the last slog of these question marks. And they haven't really been bad, to be honest. I haven't really been minding them, breaking them up here and there throughout the, the end of each episode really isn't too bad. Too many foreigners in the aisles in the olden days. All right, well, let's talk to Yen. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm, saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis, a specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Trying to tame a Jinn again. 
Again, we've already went down this road. Do we do it again? Nowhere to look for the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Do you think I would ever pass up a chance to relive the books here and now, friends? Not a chance. Damn right we'll help. We are going to relive the Jin story. Kind of, in its own little way. The game's version of... Not the version of that story specifically, but a version of a story with a Jin. Yes, please. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. All right, well, let's just follow Yen down to the boat. So, let's be honest, though. See, you've let's managed be... to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Well, we definitely would have agreed, Yen. But here's the thing, right? Hold on. Let's take some potions. The thing is, this gin. If we could actually get a djinn on our side to help us find Siri, this may be a big thing for us. Something that we actually absolutely need. So, I'm kind of all for it, Yen. But the rest... It's gonna be interesting. So it's right down here by where that one gentleman was. Alright. Hold on, Yen. You've come a long way. We have come a long way. We had the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. It would depend on... See? This is what worries me about the last... The main quest we did. Is that, remember how we broke it up? I wonder if we missed out on some more dialogue. Because there was a little tiny bit of more area that we could have ran with Yen. So it does still... It's been worrying me that we actually missed a little bit. But I don't... I don't know if we did. I don't... I'm gonna say we probably did but still, it still has been eating at me that we may have missed something because that quest was so odd. You drink last night too? You know what I mean? It was so odd because I felt like Morkvarg was part of this fucking whole main quest as well. So it was a side quest. So basically, if we didn't go in his cave, we probably would have just triggered the main quest. And then we could have came over here, talked to this guy, then went back because we found a key down where Skull was. And went back and killed Morkvarg, but... I really hope we didn't miss anything there. Like I said, it's just... Missing something with random NPCs is all fine and dandy. But missing something with a main character like Yen... It's always gonna weigh on me. The ship carrying the Jin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Alright, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Go ahead. Go right ahead, Yen. I've been driving non-stop for a long time. So, you... Can I sit next to you? Can I put my arm around you? Oh, you can... I don't want to take the helm. I'm guessing I just Garrett, sit over here. how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Sorry. I'm trying to find a seat. <laughs> I'm sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah... And as for your missteps, I don't likely see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here, you can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. 
It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. Thank you, Yen. Wow, friends. The music really set the tone here. This is the music that we had in the very beginning of the game. Remember at Kermoran? Just talking about the little bits and pieces from the books and reliving it right now is just giving me all types of chills. All right, let's go in. There's the bottom of the bay. Your even. Water warm enough for you? Jump in, see for yourself. Come on, girl. Sea water wreaks havoc on my complexion. Just find the wreck. All right. Anything for you? Wow. Holy shit! Is entrance to a cave? What a fucking cool quest. This quest is so awesome already. Friends, you get to see how good I've gotten at underwater diving and killing stuff. I swear. Well, this is another question I do have, right? So, do we get XP when we kill stuff in the water? That makes sense? Because it makes me think... I'm over here boasting about myself and I can't even kill the Droners, but it makes me think... Oh, no. Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? I wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. What kind of drowners were they? They usually take one to two shots. Them bastards were taking five. At least five. So... Do we get XP? Because, I mean, I don't know, but it would also make me wonder, the Witcher gear, every single Witcher gear has XP bonus to it for killing monsters. The crossbow for Witcher gear... Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Hold on, Yen. There's so much beautiful things down here, though. But yeah, the bow makes me wonder if it would give us extra XP for killing stuff in water. Because, friends, there is so numerous amount of... Like, Geralt has gotten so many kills in water from these question marks. I can imagine if we maybe had Witcher gear. I don't know for, for sure if that... The crossbows in this game, but there are crossbows. I don't know for sure that the Witcher crossbow has an extra bonus XP on it, but if it does, wow, probably get some serious XP just floating in the ocean, just killing. Well, this is a beautiful little cavern, Yen. Buckthorn, we're gonna need that. I'm gonna get you some flowers, Yen. <laughs> this just... She was about to throw Geralt overboard. Geralt, don't keep me waiting, let's go. <laughs> I didn't want to click on the interact with the helm spot because it might have knocked her out of the way. Right? It's good that we didn't because she'd have been pissed. Hey, Yen. Got them floating up here for you. Oh, okay. girl. Alright, let's sit back down. What a cool fucking quest. Wow. Where to now? Wherever the leads take us. Still can't believe we're searching for a gin. Crazy. Though, like I said, could prove to be a... Say we find the gin. What will you do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gin? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? It doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. Hmm. So she's trying to make a wish, but what exactly is the wish that she wants? Hold on. Something came up on the djinn, so let's read this. What the fuck would a djinn be under? Spectres? Race. Look at that penitent in there. Badass. Spectres, Elementa. I don't know what it could be. Elementa. Oh, djinn's right here. Gins are, wow, just a face. Dimeridium bomb, elemental oil. The pitcher emitted a puff of glowing red smoke. The smoke placated 
then gathered into an irregular sphere floating in front of the poet's head. The first longing, a tale fantastic in all ways. The first longing? Interesting. A jinn is a powerful air spirit, a condensation of power of set element endowed with consciousness and character. The latter usually nasty. According to legend, jinns can grant even the most far-fetched wishes, though they do so begrudgingly. Unusually powerful mages can capture and tame these beings. A mage who succeeds in doing so can then draw energy from the spirit, using it to cast spells without having to summon the power from traditional sources. Only a handful ever manage this feat, however, for jinns fight to avoid such a fate with stubborn determination to imprison a jinn and bend it to one's will, one must first weaken it, and that is no easy task. Fighting jinns is extraordinarily difficult. They can fling off spells in an instant, and the most accomplished human mages could never master with years of preparation. What's more, by manipulating the element of air, they can summon gales, powerful storms, even hurricanes. Luckily, as magic beings, they are vulnerable to silver, yet steel will do no harm to them. Interesting. Wow. You ready for this, Yin? <laughs> I don't even know if we're ready for this. Well, at least we can kill him with a silver sword. That's something if all else Something's fails here. and we can't tame Another it. Red. Let's see if our Jin's down there. Yeah, let's go say hi, Geralt. I'm sure it will be thrilled. I still can't believe he muddled that. <laughs> go off and fuck yourself. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. So Geralt's wish to Yennefer was pretty much, it was never told in the books. It was never completely told. But his wish to her was to bind their fates together, in a sense. So that's basically why I would say that they have this great passion of love for each other. But I feel like it's something more. It's not just that. It's definitely more to their love. It's been here a while. Woods are on it. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the mage's ship. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A warhorn. Bearing clan Hame. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A warhorn. Bearing clan Hamai symbols. Sorry. Didn't mean to double talk in. Clan Hamai? Fucking beautiful, man. Wow. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Longship belonged to Clan Dimmon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Wait, there's one more sign. Arrows stuck in the side. The kind pharaoh folk use. Hey, Siren. How are you? All right, well, let's return to the boat and keep trekking. But like I was saying, their love is way more than just that wish. I feel like the wish at first pushed them to, let's just say, explore each other to actually get to that love point. But I feel like over so much time, they just grow to love each other. Like the love is just too powerful. You're Even the curse. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? Chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. That was so cool. They didn't, they didn't mention how badass Yen was at the end of the, uh, the story. At the end of the story, they were all tied up, right? Let's just long and short of it. They were all tied up, and there was, like, bandits. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. Something on the bottom? Anyways, there was bandits, all types of other stuff that was trying to kill the, the golden dragon, this, that, and the other. Fork, reject dolls, villain shunting mirth. But, anyways... Yen literally burned. Oh shit. Sirens. She burned the 
what's this called, a noose or whatever that was around her leg, and it burned the fucking, it burned the rope and as well as half the skin off her foot. Anyways, she had her feet loose See and she something? was casting. Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivade. Whoa. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivade. Too cramped in here for both? Anyway, she was casting all these spells with her feet and just destroying people, turning them into like <laughs> fucking all types of farm animals. And then lightning, I'm pretty sure lightning was in, involved in it too, yeah. But it was just so fucking cool, so badass. That was just like, I'm, when we talk about the books, I just, I can't help but bring up little things and relive it because it was very special to me, as well as I know all you guys as well. That has read the books. They're just special. Once in a lifetime read. If you guys never read it, please do. Shit! This has to be it? I would think. This is half of... I don't even know. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Maybe. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Half a seal? Ooh, Yen, it's something. We got progress. Hmm, something cut this basket exactly in half. Hmm, something cut this basket exactly in half. <laughs> Something cut that basket in half. Is this nothing? Can't interact with this. I want to hear all this stuff, Geralt. I can't believe we are fucking searching for a gin. Wow. I know that the little codex thing that was in our room was talking about it, or the little book that we fucking read, but I didn't think we'd be searching for another one. I thought it was just kind of like a formality, you know? Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. Why can't we fucking see that? And there's something else over here somewhere. But why can't we... Well, there's something here. But why the fuck can't we interact with that ship? All right, well, let's keep on going. Return to the boat. We had the seal. She could probably pinpoint where the gin is now with the seal. Maybe. But the seals... The seals are what... Gives her a chance to bind it, right? Didn't she have the seal in the book? She kept it? Or... Who had the seal? Geralt had the seal. Yeah, Geralt had the seal. And that's why she couldn't bind it, because she didn't have it. Or something... You know, I just don't fully remember, but... So Only long. found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Ah, oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two. <laughs> he hates portals so much. I don't blame him. That's scary. I wouldn't want to go through one. Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A gin's power is priceless to a mage. Tell me or I leave. What do you want the power? There's, there's gotta be more to it. It can't just be that, Yen. That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. 
wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Wow, that's... I don't know how I feel about that. Because on one hand, let's just say on one hand, if our lo love is strong enough and true, we'll stay together. But if it's not, then, well, goodbye. I do understand. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. That's... What if I don't want to? Fine, let's do it. I want to know too. I do. I feel like I want to do this too. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Wow. That's really something. To take away the bonds of fate to learn the truth. Because we Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jin to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Well, I am curious what's going to happen. I can't wait to see how this will go, but man, it surely does. I don't even know. I want to say it hurts a little bit, but let's just say I would want this too if it was me. I would want to know fully if the love that that was between us was really true love and it wasn't just the wish like I said it's so funny that we talked about this before we're even here like I said I felt like Geralt and Yennefer's love goes beyond the wish truly so this is just really fucking awesome we should explore the ship alright we'll explore anything for you where are you gonna go can we talk to her? We should explore the ship. All right, we'll explore. All right, well, let's stop in there. Let's go up top first. <laughs> the mage told him to teleport him out of here, and the djinn teleported him, probably. Get him out of there. And the djinn took him to the top of a mountain. <laughs> but he probably died here. But then he's a mage. He can teleport out of here, right? Hmm, nothing interesting here. Is that Gwent cards? That motherfucker had Gwent cards. I see Esterod down there. And it looks like a griffin. And the biting frost. Nothing here. Cheers. Why wow, the fuck? It looked like there's something down, but how the hell do we go down? Oh, we're here. Yeah. What's your gear in that chest? Red. What's so interesting, girl? Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. We have to read that. Mystery of mysteries. Among the many creatures of the world, there are but two that are able to draw and absorb the power. And these are cats and dragons. Both species sense of presence of magic intersections and often choose them as resting places. Which is strange. Or other animals avoid these same spots. Numerous theories attempt to explain this behavior, but none do so with thorough success. Some scholars claim dragons use the power they imbibe to fly, for as 
The natural philosophers have proven no creature of the size and mass should be capable of lifting itself into the air using such meager wings. As for cats, there is a theory stating the power is behind their gift for seeing things in complete darkness. Other claim this ability is theirs by nature and they use the power of the intersections for other unknown purposes. Indeed, that all members of the something something are able to see beings from other planes invisible persons and emanations of the power has been proven behind any doubt on numerous occasions interesting look wonder what this means I wonder what the hell it means too Geralt you tell me so elemental elemental empires by Jean Batista Jean Batista Elemental empires, none of the four planes or dimensions, those of fire, water, earth, and air, is accessible to mere mortals. They are inhabited, however, by creatures known as genies. There are four types, each corresponding to one of the four elements, which comprise their respective essences. Each type of genie also counts its antithesis among the others, thus the Arides aligned with the element of water are opposed by the fiery Ifrit. The plane of earth is inhabited by the Dal Genies and the dimension of air which opposes it is home for Genie whose name incidentally is the root of the word Genie. Genie and Genie? This last term is often used by simple folk to refer to all creatures that inhabit the elemental planes which is an obvious blunder. Usually powerful sorcerers can sometimes bind such beings and bend them to their will, thus acquiring tremendous might to the point of near impotence. For a genie being the living personification of an element's energy is akin to almost boundless reservoir of the power. Thus its master can draw energy from the genie for spell casting without the tiresome need to channel from traditional sources. Wow. Just keep on going. Holy moly. No wonder. It makes sense. We always wonder like why? Well, it, we always knew that it would give them power, but unlimited casting? Wow. However, those who are able to bind a genie are few and far between, for the strength of the inhabitants of the four planes is matched only by the cunning which they employ to avoid such a fate. Interesting. These codex, uh, these write-ups are awesome. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Wow. Wonder what this means. What does it mean, Geralt? You tell me. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Hold on. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Well, there's nothing here, Yen. Unless we can move this. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn killed him? Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even and the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. So that would mean that this guy, Amos, probably still has more wishes than this djinn. But what happens to the djinn? Does the djinn just still fester here? Because he never released them by granting all the wishes? Or asking for all the wishes? If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! 
Come to the deck. I've an idea. Last wish. All right, well, just in case we're going to fight anything, let's do Elementa. Dime Meridium. I don't really want to do Dime Meridium because Yen won't be at a cast. So, right? That's if we even fight a Jin. Come with me. I have an idea. All right. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the Jin. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Ken Jin, Rif Kaishta En Gaia, Kaishta Et Disclare, Givered Me Castle. You have a plan. You must weaken him while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places? Girl, she's not trading places. Let's do this. Come on, Jin. Bring it on, mother effer. Let's keep our shield up. Oh my word, this is so badass. Keep our shield up. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Hold on, let's take some more. Let's take... Let's get Thunderbolt. Wait, Thunderbolt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Thunderbolt, check this out. Because it's stormy right now. Extended duration grants 100% critical hit chance during storms. We never read this when we created it, but here it is. During storms, 100% crit chance. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking destroy him. Hang in there, Yen. We got this. Oh, that's badass. Come on. Let's go. Bring it on. Get our shield back up. Let's take another potion. Just for shits and giggles. Let's take Full Moon. died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. <sighs> do you see the spell that binds us? <sighs> Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. <sighs> So fucking cool. Well, what happens now? Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. We beat the gin. A bit better now. We beat the gin. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a gin, but still. 
No comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. You probably wouldn't have been able to do it. This might have been your end, Jan. Couldn't have refused. If I'd have known about us, I'd have refused? No, I don't think so. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. I still love you too. Sorry, but I don't want to be- Oh my god. You can say that to her here? Wow. I can imagine that this- Let's just be honest. Well, I'm not even going to bring it up. We'll talk about it later. Still love you too? Yes. Jen might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Oh, what was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was, in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Let's not end on a kiss. Right now. Let's not end on a kiss. Come on. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. That was really beautiful. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Wow. What an amazing quest. Holy shit. Probably one of the best side quests in the game, if not the best. Wow. Literally choking up here because of, uh, you know, who Yen is to us. <sighs> wow, that was really awesome. I don't even have words, I'll keep it as well. Wow. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor, after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. I refuse to report to him, so be it. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise, he might feel compelled to remind you. Use the report to him? Don't have the slightest intention of doing that. Well, I can't force you. Let's talk before we leave. You gotta go, go. Let's talk. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you again. Take care of yourself. I feel like I want to bow down to CD Projekt for making that quest. Fuck what are you in our room for? What are you doing here? Yen's still here, she didn't leave. Well, can we talk? Geralt. Geralt? Our encounter with the Jin feeling any effects? So, 
Feel any different after our encounter with the Jin? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. You gotta admit that writing the CD Projekt did off of the books, taking that last wish and converting it into this, like the ultimate outcome of Geralt and Jennifer together without the wish, that's some serious shit. Serious, but awesome. Talk about the past. This feels great to actually get a chance to talk to Jennifer. Found something that might be yours. Oh, the uh, thingy majiggy. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Holy shit. Your time with the hunt, what do you remember? When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. I think Erdin let him go. For him to lead Geralt, or for Geralt to lead Erdin and stuff to Siri. That's what I think personally, but I'm not really sure. The game never really touched on it, did it? Unless Siri intervened and somehow got us out of there that we just don't know. It's hard to ex it's hard to, it's hard to say. I'm thinking either Siri intervened somehow and got us out of there, we just don't remember, or Erdin just let us go to lead him to Siri. What did Erdin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eridan believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. Well, there it is. There's more insight on it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Well, you're definitely using them, for sure, because once all said and done, I don't think we'll just be handing Ciri over to a mirror. I couldn't see Geralt and Jennifer doing that. But hey, it's a good it's a good person to use to get what is the ultimately the right thing, us finding Ciri. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Well, they pretty much did. And then all the stuff that led us up to this point. The eternal battle and stuff in the second game. A lot of stuff. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? You, Yennefer. What do you think? Found something that might be yours? Found something that might belong to you. 
That skull some sort of accessory? If so, you've changed your style a bit. It's a weapon. Don't remember ever seeing you with that? It's as you said. I've changed my style. Oh. Short, simple, and to the point. That's a little weapon. Thanks, Yen. See you later. I don't want you to go. I want to sit here and talk to you more, Yen. I feel like it's like... Yen's had so much stuff. Like, right there. But I feel like it's not enough, because I want to talk to her more. Geralt. Thanks, Yen. See you later. See, because we're hopelessly in love. Friends, we're all hopelessly in love. Alright, well... <laughs> What the fuck did this chicken, this hen just opened your door again and it closed the fucking door. What is going on here? Hey, a little privacy. How are you? <laughs> what the hell? Is this real? Real? Is this going? Is this real? This can't be real. Wait, where's the? Are you going over here looking for the stuffed animal? It's not here anymore. Oh my word, this is crazy. Alright, well what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to save here. Let's look at the journal. So Jens is gonna stay here. Well, we're in Kertrold, friends. We're in Kertrold, let's go to Winnicar from Shusta. Next episode, and then... What do you say we just start this quest? Because I don't know... What else we can do. We have this over here. What is this one? Contract the Dragon. It's green, finally. I say we go about doing... Yalmar's quest, and then Saris's quest, because Yalmar's quest is right here. Yeah, or should we do... Saris's quest first, or Yalmar? Does it matter? Hmm. I don't know. I say, I guess since this quest is here, we might as well do Yalmar's first. This will lead us over, so Ceres is right here. Yalmar's is right here. What I might do with Yalmar's is... Because we can probably fast travel. Oh yeah, we can fast travel right to it. I'm not doing that. Wait. Is this, what is this? Oh, this is Witcher gear stuff. This is an upgrade. Wait, that's not Ceres's. Ceres is right here, okay. So I was thinking maybe possibly take a boat, then knock this stuff out on the way there. Would make sense. Maybe we'll at least start the quest. That's a good idea. We'll start the quest and we'll start making our way over here because some of the stuff is just literally will probably just be gear. But this will have to be something. Some kind of quest to it, and that's all fine and dandy. And this other stuff, we'll get to whenever, sometime. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head to Yalmar's quest next, but let's look at the journal itself and see what we have fully. Lord of Unvik, because we're right here at the end. We still got the Black Pearl. Found the tread, collect them all still. High stakes, Master Armorers. Went old pals. Oh, we gotta win a card from Lambert. But we'll see Lambert back in Novigrad. Tower out of nowheres. Land far, far away. Uncover what became in the second ship. Yes, that's in Novigrad as well. Fist of Fury. We'll do this when we do the Tower out of nowheres. And then the Witcher Contracts is what it is. We still got stuff in Novigrad. Door slamming shut. Oh, that's, that's gonna be out leveled soon. We're gonna do that stuff when we actually go back to Novigrad. Because I'm just not going back to Novigrad yet. It's going to be quite a while, I think, still. I actually wouldn't call it quite a while, friends. I would call it maybe... Holy shit. I'm telling you right now that this quest here, then Ceres's quest there, this, I will do the dragon, probably Skellige's most wanted as well before we leave. And then the tower out of nowheres. And then I think after that, it's time to actually head back. Because this other Witcher gear stuff, we will get whenever. As well as these question marks. We'll knock it out when we actually 
go to them quests. But this stuff is so fucking high leveled. Even Skellige's Most Wanted is kind of high leveled. But the thing is, if we're going to do this one, we might as well do this one because it's right fucking here. Makes sense. And by the time we get to that, we'll probably be another level. So we'll be in the range. It wouldn't be red. So anyways, that's our plan. That's thinking ahead. But we don't. I don't think we have too much here. We don't have too much left here, but wow, what a great quest. I really just, my hat's off to CD Projekt Red for making that quest. It was a lot of us people that read the books, really, that just, it's just something else. I don't know. It's just something that we probably all envisioned. Like, what would happen if the, if the wish wasn't there? Well, now we know that the love is still strong with Geralt and Yennefer, and it always will be at this point. Now it's real completely real and like i said that's just awesome but anyways my friends i'm out of here take it easy have a good one stay safe see you next time take care